All right, man, we are pushing the limits today, man. You got northeast winds with about 15 to 20, gusts up to about 25. The only beauty of this much wind is I'm not worried about the bugs today like you would on a normal day. But we'll see if anything's biting. Damn. There's the first hit for the day right there. Feels like a juvenile tog hit. Got him. Feels like a little tog. No, that's our best friend. The oyster toadfish. I'll tell you what, man. If it weren't for these fish, man, we'd get skunked every week. Man, they stink. Oh, Ugh, man, the smell of those fish. I don't know what it is. It almost smells like dog poop. That's the only thing I... I it really smells like, in my opinion. All right, drop it back down. Literally, uh, I thought I was at the bottom, but I wasn't. Closed the bale and I could feel something munching on it. Might have been a tog. Kind of had that distinct tog hit. But who knows, I thought the last fish was a tog and it was an oyster toad fish. I've been like off recently, man. Like the whole Florida trip, I kept thinking, you know, it's different species than what I was catching. Got to get my touch back. Oh, there's a hit. That's a distinctive toadfish. Uh, maybe not. If it is, it's a big one. Nah, baby striper. See, man, I can't get anything right today. Look at that. All right, man. Ugh. This guy's got some spunk. Little juvenile striper. There he goes. Now, that's the beauty of fishing uh, sand fleas, man. These things, and these guys are frozen. These are guys I caught, you know, a week ago. Didn't end up using, so I ended up, you know, bagging them up freezing them that's always a good sign when you're catching fish on frozen bait because once October rolls around man I, I hope to have a decent surplus of them because you know they become much harder to catch in the winter time they go deeper in the sand there's that hit again got him uh. Not liking the head shake on this one. Yep. Oh, Lord. They keep getting bigger and bigger, man. Look at this guy, man. With those eyes, how can you not love these things? Yeah, man. It's a cool little perch. There he goes. All right, man, so oyster toads, some stripers, some perch. Not a bad day. Come on. Got him. Oh, got him that time. Feels like a bigger one. Whatever it is is bigger, it might be a tog. Just wanna see what it is. Oh no, what the heck? Oh man, well, it is a new species, but that is like worse than an oyster toadfish, man. The American eel. Luckily, he's hooked perfectly where he's not gonna slime up my line or my jig, but oh man. To be honest with you, I don't even wanna bring this thing in the kayak because the slime, the slime these things generate is just and go, oh man, look at this ugly looking American eel. Ah, I go figure, I leave my pliers in my truck the one time I actually need them. I don't, I want nothing to do with this guy. Ugh, man. Damn 
amateur hour on the kayak right now. I really don't want to deal with this guy. There we go. Ugh. Ugh. And little taps here, but it's so hard to maintain balance with the amount of waves coming on both sides of this. God, oh no, that was a tog. That was 100% a tog. It's, damn, I missed him. Got him. Whoa, that had a good head shake. That's no eel. Oh yeah, look at that freaking slob, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Slob perch. Look at this. Let me, uh... That's what I'm talking about, man. That's a good size perch right there. But we're going to let them live today. 